All right, so my name is John Pyron. I'm the president and CEO of John Pyron Coaching. I want to welcome you to today's webinar. Today we're going to talk about how to build a million dollar trainer business. And I've been particularly excited about delivering this call because there's a lot of trainers out there that I've been working with and they're all having success. I'm having success. I know lots of trainers, not just in, you know, Eric Lofholm world or uh, Tony Robbins world or Grant Cardone world or Tom Ferry world. Uh, there's lots of trainers out there that would love to continue to master and deliver in that program. And that's what today's webinar is all about. And so some of the goals that I have for today is number one, I'm going to talk about three ways to elevate your speaking results. Number two is we're going to talk about how to book speaking engagements. And finally, number three, we're going to talk about how to convert talks into cash. So not only are we going to talk about how to book a speaking engagement and how to get one set up, but once the talk happens, how do you convert that talk into cash? And more importantly, how do you convert them into one-on-one -on -one coaching clients? We're going to be talking about Jim Rohn. We're going to be talking about his proven speaker model. That's right. About 50 years ago. What's interesting about Jim Rohn is, is 50 years ago, um, he was working for somebody and and he used to tell this story about himself and his past and where he came from and how everything was working. And, and finally, one day, his mentor, his coach, Earl Show, said, Hey, you know what? Uh, why don't you go and tell your story at this event over here? And he went and told it at a men's breakfast. And they loved the talk so much that they said, Hey, would you come and speak to our group and we'll pay you for it? And Jim was like, You'll pay me for it, really? You mean I'm going to get paid for this? And yeah, you're going to get paid for it. And so he went and gave the talk and they gave him a check. And the next thing you know, he's like, holy cow, man, I actually got paid for something for this. And bam, a new speaker model was born. He discovered that during that time, there were already assembled teams of people that he can go and share his story with. And so he would go and share his story with these people and deliver his talk and they would give him a check and then the idea came to him one day he says you know what why don't I they get such value out of me telling a story that I absolutely love to give I mean I don't know who's the bigger who the bigger winner is here if is it me or is it them I get more out of telling my own story than they probably get by hearing it and so the idea was born of go and give something of value first deliver an idea first and then at the very end of the talk, after you've earned the right to ask for somebody's money, it's okay to ask them for their money. And then the rest is history. I mean, he found this young kid, a guy named Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins went to work for Jim Rohn in the, his early 20s, and Jim had already had the model down. He said, okay, here's what I want you to do, Tony. I want you to go give the front of the room talk. I want you to go into this area and pick up 200 leads. I want you to take those leads and I want you to call them up and say, I'd love to come out and be a guest speaker at one of your upcoming meetings. Went out and gave the talk and closed on the Jim Rohn weekend. And did it over and over and over and over again. Tony Robbins did about 2,000 talks representing Jim Rohn before he went out and found out what he was passionate about and went and started the Anthony Robbins organization. And we're going to talk about that whole model on today's talk and how to leverage that model. Now one of the things I'm always aware of whenever I talk, whenever I give a webinar, whenever I give a front of the room talk or a conference call, whenever I'm on the receiving end of that, I always ask myself, okay, who is this guy? There's basically three questions that go through my mind. Maybe you can relate to this. There's, you know, who is this dude? Who is John Pyron and why the heck should I listen to him? Two questions. And finally, number three, what's in it for me? Right? I mean, is that, is that, am I too off the beaten path? Okay, I don't think so. And so I'm going to see if I can answer these three questions, and then we're going to get right on into the content.
content. So who am I? Who is John Pyram? Well, I was born at a very early age in a little small town called Dallas, Texas. Very small, quaint, little family-oriented town. And, and uh, no, I'm just joking. But uh, literally, I lived in a little town called Grand Prairie outside of the town of Dallas. And for the first 12 years of my life, I lived there in the 70s and early 80s. And my uh, parents had uh, divorced, and my dad moved to California. And my mom stayed there, and, and through a whole series of events, uh, we ended up moving to California. So right away, I want to recognize if you've ever been through any challenge, if you've ever been through any hard times, if you've ever been in you know, where your parents were divorced, or you ever came from a dysfunctional home, guess what? So have I. And so I can definitely relate to where you come from and because I came from there myself. But what was interesting is back in 1982 when we decided to move out of Texas to California, I lived in this very safe neighborhood. And right, you can, you can walk to school. And so I would imagine, I have, I have two kids and you probably have kids yourself and ask yourself this question. If you're going to move from one state to a, another state and, um, you know, wouldn't you pick going from one safe neighborhood to a, another safe neighborhood? I mean, I, mean it, it, I don't know if it's just me, but that's, that's what my choice would be. And, but my mom didn't do that. And so what ended up happening is we moved from Grand Prairie, Texas, to East Oakland, California. Yeah, that's right. We moved to this house right here in East Oakland, California. That is on 69th Avenue and what used to be called East 14th Street. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar and... Uh, you know, with uh, uh, geography and your, you know, geography wasn't your major in school, Oakland is considered to be one of the most dangerous cities in America. It's always listed in the top five, if not the top ten, of the most dangerous cities in America. And back in the day, when I moved there, my mom had not yet got the memo that it was not safe to have your kid walk to school. And so I used to walk to this school right here. It's a little school called Havens Court Junior High. It's on the corner of 65th and East 14th Street, which I think is now International Drive. And if you do a 180-degree turn on this uh, picture here, it is a project village that used to house one of the most notorious gangsters in all of America, a guy named Felix Mitchell. And so here I am, moved from a small, safe town to 69th Avenue and East 14th Street, uh, you know, I'm having to walk to school. I'm going to this super dangerous uh, junior high school in the middle of two gangs. And, and one of the biggest advantages of that is I learned how to run very fast. I kid you not. I, I, I literally was number one on my track team. And that's not a joke. I was number one. I got the ribbons to prove it. Um, but my mom had not yet got the memo that it was not safe. And so if you've ever grown up in any type of crazy environment, Right? Any type of dangerous neighborhood where there's helicopters flying everywhere or any of that other stuff, guess what? So have I. Ultimately, by the time I was age 17, I had discovered, and I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but um, my home life became so um, um, dysfunctional, if you will, that they, um, my mom and dad split up again. And um, they ended up moving out of town, and they came to me, and they said, hey, we're going to move to a little town called Livingston, which is down by Modesto, California. And they said, would you like to go? And I said, absolutely not. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to go on with my life. And that was, that was really a turning point for me because in the back of this house right here, uh, I lived in, there was a trailer that was about the size of a king-size bed, and that's where I lived. I was basically homeless, and so if you've ever been homeless, guess what? I can relate to, to you. If you've ever fallen on any tough time, uh, it's not pleasant. It's definitely not pleasant. But you know what? I wouldn't trade that experience for anything because it makes me up who I am today. And, and that could be a message for any of you today. You know, no matter where you've come from, no matter where you've been, right? Today could be the day that you make a decision that it's gonna be different. Today literally could be the first day of the rest of your life. I know this because that's what happened to me. We fast forward to 
September 24th, 2010, this article came out and I was featured in the center of the Sacramento Business Journal's uh, fastest growing companies list. In fact, this was my second year in a row making that list. Prior year we were number 10, this year we were number 26. And the reason they did this article is because there was a little thing called an economic crash. And our business, I grew that company about 280 to 300%. Was it because I was a big deal? No, really wasn't. I mean, my mom was a waitress, my dad was a tow truck driver, they were divorced, I was homeless at one point. It definitely wasn't me, but I gotta tell you right now, it was because of me and the people that I submitted to, the people that I had employed with me, the people that I chose to bring on as a team, and instead of me having to be the big deal, right? See, there's so many business owners out there right now there's so many businesses out there that would actually thrive if the owner just got out of the way. And maybe that's you. Maybe that's something, that message that you need to hear today. And if I, I didn't come on this webinar to be nice. That's not my purpose today. I came on this webinar so you can leave this webinar uh, with something new and different that you can benefit from. And so I'm a coach. That's my background. That's what I do. I have a tendency to tell people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. Because I believe in being authentic. By you being your authentic self, you can accomplish all kinds of things. I mean, here I am homeless. Next thing you know, I'm in the center page of the business journal. And, and I remember the article. It's like I didn't get, I, I said, you know what? If it wouldn't have been for my business partner, Justin, and it wouldn't have been for my coach, Mike Sastry, and it wouldn't have been for my coach, Dave Vanny, and you know, Amy Tacker, and all the people that, that I hired on staff, there ain't no way this could have happened. I was very privileged and very, um, you know, thankful that that happened. And so what does this have to do with you? Well, guess what? If you've ever been homeless and you've ever struggled or you've ever made a lot of money, I've done it all in between. I built businesses up and, and you know, got greedy and, and, and didn't keep my eye on the ball and what's important and, and it crashes and then you go through that mess and you have to rebuild it and been through all of that. And one of the things I love to do more than anything today is coach people, you know? And so that's who I am at the core. I love to help people. This is my family. It's my uh, beautiful wife, Shin May, who uh, we met as roommates and, you know, she was my best friend and I ended up uh, dating her girlfriends because she, wouldn't, she wasn't interested in me and then she became jealous and I ended up marrying her. <laughs> and so it's about 18 years ago. And uh, that's our little boy Preston there. We tried for 10 years to have that baby. Went through three in vitros, none of them worked. And we gave up all hope, and next thing you know, she got pregnant. And so if you're in that situation at all, never give up. Always pray about it. You never know what's going to happen. And God rewarded us with this beautiful young boy, and it's phenomenal. That's my older son, Dylan, there. And the thing I'm so excited for, for him is he's 22 years old. He's been professionally trained in sales, and he's his own man. You know, uh, I did what most parents should do. I told him, hey, get your butt, get a job or go to college or I'm kicking your butt out. You're not going to sit around my house. And that's exactly what I did. And today he thinks, he, think, he thanks me all the time. He's like, that is the best thing you ever did for me, man. I would never have grown up and become a man had you not done that. And so, you know, um, that's who I am. That's who I am at the core. I love to help people. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, it's very simple. If you're gonna coach with somebody, make sure they have a coach, okay? I have a coach. This is my, my longtime friend, Dave Vanny. Okay, I met Dave in uh, February of 1991 and started coaching with him one-on-one -on -one in February of 1996 and it's made all the difference in the world. I meet with Dave every, th Wednesday, every Thursday night at 5.30. I wouldn't be the, where I'm at today had it not been for this man speaking the truth in my life and telling me that, you know what? Doesn't matter that you were homeless, John. Doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. And let's stop whining and complaining about it and take action. And you know what? You need to have somebody like that in your life that can pour their, their thoughts into you and tell you, hey, you know what? You're not stuck where you're at. And I'm telling you right now, you're not stuck where you're at. You're not. Okay? And so pay attention to what I'm going to share with you today because this webinar can create a big-time breakthrough for you. Ultimately... Because of his coaching, I accomplished this, along with the other people. 
And then finally, about two years ago, I was just having lunch with a client of mine uh, from my previous company. And when I sold it, he's still a client of the company that I sold that company to. And we were talking, and uh, he's now going to bring me on, and, and I'm going to coach him and, and stuff. But we were talking about, you know, he was asked the question of, where did your life change? Where did you go from being in IT sales to where you are right now? And literally, it was because of this man right here, a guy named Eric Lawholm. And Eric Lawholm got to start with Tony Robbins. And I learned under this man the, the Jim Rohn model. I, I, I had spoken when I was coaching with Dave and I was a part of his business and I've been public speaking since you know the early 90s. The largest audience has been 6,000 people on average, about 40 to 50 people and never knew that I could get paid for it until I met Eric Lawholm and he taught me the Jim Rohn speaker model and the rest is history. It's just been a blast and we're going to talk more about that today. Because of my relationship with Eric, you know, he helped me discover my natural gift which is coaching. And now I love to pour my heart and soul into other people and help them as business owners and help them as salespeople make a difference in their lives. And so, you know, feel free to visit my site. There's always going to be free resources on there. Check them out. If there's anything on there that uh, you can benefit from, great. If not, you know, uh, share it with other people. But there's always going to be relevant content for you, there for you to take advantage of. Lastly, I discovered, hey, you know what? People actually resonate with this message. You know, people actually want what we're offering. They want to know how to deliver a front of the room talk, how to deliver a conference call, how to deliver a webinar, you know, how to sell a product from the front of the room. And so when I formed this uh, group called JP Mastermind, look it up on Facebook, you know, immediately 85 people joined, you know, and now we're very selective of people that we bring on and we're going to be cresting 100 members uh, this couple, probably today. You know, and uh, it's, we haven't been advertising it. This is, these are people that want to build a speaker, trainer, coaching business. Not just learn how to represent somebody's product. Not just learn how to, you know, go in front of the room and do a front of the room talk and then close on somebody else's products so somebody else can get rich. It's not what this program is about. It's about you discovering you and you becoming the best you that you can become. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter whose product you're selling. Okay? There's all kinds of people out there that would love for you to go and do a front of the room talk and sell their product and they'll pay you all day long and twice on Sunday for doing it. And so we're going to talk about how you do that today. And if you want to be a part of this group, there's no cost to be a part of it. We do a mastermind call every Monday morning at 7 a.m. All you got to do is go there and request it. And the only vetting process is I'm going to make sure, we need to make sure that you're a speaker, trainer, or coach. And, and you're not going to come in here to promote all your stuff. That's not what it's about. It's about masterminding principles for public speaking. So what's in it for you? Well, it's very simple. What's in it for you is I'm going to share with you some ideas today okay, that can help you improve your speaker and trainer results. Number two is I'm going to invite you to join a high-performance trainer group that we call 10X. And so sit back and relax. I'm going to cover that at the very end. I'm going to go into hyperdrive now because I want to share with you some content that you can implement. I'm going to actually model the Jim Rohn speaker model on this webinar so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give you a tremendous amount of high quality content that you can use whether you and I ever do business or not. And so I want you to take this model and the stuff I'm going to share with you today and implement it. And if you have ever any questions about how to do that, on my website is my links to my calendar. Be more than happy to help you out wherever I can. So let's jump right into it. There's basically three ways to increase your speaking results. Now there's three ways to increase a lot of different results, but we're going to focus on public speaking because that's what this is all about, about how to be a trainer and a public speaker. First one is the inner game. Second one is the outer game. And finally, the third one is taking action. And so let's talk about the inner game. Let's talk about your inner game. It's about mindset. It's about what it is that you say when you talk to yourself, right? It's about your attitude. How do you show up every day mentally? Do you show up getting excited? Or do you wake up and go, oh my God, I can't wait to get out of, ugh, can I just press the snooze button, right? How is it that you show up? And so we're going to talk about the inner game. And we really can't talk about the inner game without talking about mindset. 
And one of the things about mindset, the mindset of a champion, really, is that there's always room to grow. You know? If we were in the front of the room, I'd, I'd say, hey, who in here agrees with that? And so, you know, there's a chat box, and you can all, you can all put in there, hey, I agree with that. You know? And so, you know, if you agree with that, go, go ahead and put in there, hey, I agree with that. The other thing is, is how many of you believe you have potential inside of you to perform at a higher level than the level you've been currently performing at? And that's all of us. We all have a higher potential. And one of the great stories I love about mindset is about the great Michael Jordan. And one of the things about Michael Jordan that made him so great wasn't the fact that he was born in an exceptionally talented athlete, which is definitely true. In fact, he was, I remember, I remember a game he was playing and he had the flu, man. He had like a 102 degree flu and he played the game. He looked exhausted. I mean, he passed out basically at the end of the game, but his mindset was incredible. So he's already a great athlete. He's already born an exceptionally talented athlete. But what made him great was his constant desire to always want to get better. And one of the true stories about Michael Jordan is every single summer, he would hire a coach. He would work with a trainer. He picked one aspect of his game, not 25, right? How many of us are out there are trying to implement 25, 30 different things and we suck it all up, right? Why not just focus on one thing that you can focus on and master that? And that's what he did. And so one summer it was the left hand. That's all he'd focus on the entire summer would be his left hand. The next summer, working with some other trainers, some other coaches, he would, you know, work on a strength training. And that's all he did the entire summer is work on that strength training. And it was that discipline, it was that, that focus that made Michael Jordan great. So, good for him, right? So what? That's Michael Jordan. Well, here's a message for you. If Michael Jordan had to have a trainer or a coach, guess what? You need to have a trainer or a coach. I know I do. I have two coaches. Actually, I'm hiring a third one because I want to I master LinkedIn. And, and it, kind of a side note, a little side commercial. Okay, let's break for a commercial. Uh, <laughs> so, on Friday at 10 a.m., we're going to do a free webinar where we're going to talk about LinkedIn, how to turn LinkedIn into a lead generation machine. So show back up here on that, uh, that time slot and you'll be able to get access to that for free. But um, let's talk about you. You know, what is that one thing? What is your one thing? And I don't need, trust me, if you're in the same boat I'm at, we're human beings. There, you know, there's one thing. There is one thing that you know that you've been putting off, right? You've been putting it off. You don't want to do it. It's outside of the comfort zone. Maybe it's public speaking. Maybe it's closing. Maybe it's making a phone call to book appointments. There's something you've been putting off, and you know that you need to work on it. But, you know, i got to get my email together, John. You don't understand. I mean, my email folders, you know, I mean, I need, I need, you, you don't understand. I've got, I'm married, okay? All right, I'm married. Actually, you know, I, I'm married and I have a business, okay? And as soon as I get all that stuff lined up, right, then I can learn how to make phone calls, right? I get this all the time. I, how do I know that? I, I was there. I've been there many times. I still do it even today. That's why I meet with Dave Vanny at 5.30 p.m. on Thursday night because if I don't have the results from my previous week, it ain't going to fly, Okay? And so we all know that one thing, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That one thing that if you focused on, if you actually held yourself accountable to another human being, you would improve in that area and it would make all the difference in your life. Think about it, right? What is that one thing? And so what, now you got that one thing, you know what I'm talking about, right? Write it down, okay? Now I'm not going to leave you there. I'm going to give you some homework. Okay? I want you to go out to Amazon or wherever you can and find this book. A buddy of mine, Jesse Garcia, who uh, is the CEO of Pipeline Wizard, which, which by the way, um, you know, if you want to improve your real estate results and you're tracking your results and see an increase in your results, you need to go check out Pipeline Wizard. That's one of the most phenomenal tracking tools for self-improvement in real estate sales that I've, I've ever seen. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of training with him. But 
He gave this book to my wife because my wife was uh, looking to uh, get into real estate and she's going to take her test and and this book sat on the on the shelf and she wouldn't she wasn't going to read it so I stole the book. I started reading. I couldn't put it down. I'm like, holy cow! Not only do I know what my one thing is, but now I've got a step by step manual on what to do about it. And so go get this book. It's going to help you out. And so we talked about the inner game. Let's talk about the outer game. Because once you get a solid inner game, right, and then you get a solid outer game, now what you have is what's called your natural game. Okay, When you have both of those two synergistically working together, now you can really peak perform. And so the outer game would be your systems. And one of my favorite topics about the outer game is about baseline strategy. And this particular strategy, I've been using this particular strategy since Clark Broom taught it to me back in 1992. I didn't even know it had a name until I met my mentor, Eric Lawholm. And he called it baseline strategy. I'm like, oh, that's what Clark Broom taught me you know, years ago. And basically what it means is everybody in here has a baseline in terms of the results that you're producing. And so... If we look at your baseline, right? Let's just take income earned. Let's just say you're gonna we're gonna measure income earned because you can measure fitness, you can measure health, you can measure your relationship with your spouse or significant other, you can measure any area of your life you want to improve. You can run this strategy with. But let's just take money. Let's just say you're earning five thousand dollars a month. Well, five thousand would be your baseline. What's also included in that five thousand is every single thing that you did to create the 5,000. Your time management, your goal setting, your lead generation, it's everything. And the strategy is simply this. You can add something to your baseline. There's basically three or three things that you can do. You can add something to your baseline. You can subtract something from your baseline. Or you can modify something in your baseline and make it better. This is where working with a good mentor, a good coach, and you're going to hear that throughout the rest of this webinar. Your number one assignment leaving this webinar, whether it's, I don't have any more room for coaching clients, so don't call me, but find someone that you can coach with and go coach with them and they'll make all the difference in the world for you. Um, you know, let's talk, let's talk about adding something. Let's add something to your baseline. Let me give you, th there's basically three key systems to grow any business and one of them is lead generation, one second one's appointment setting, and the third one is lead conversion. And so generating leads, setting appointments, and converting those leads. So I'm going to give you something today that you can add to your baseline. And if you implement this one thing, right, you're, you're going to never have an issue with, a, with, with appointments ever again. In fact, if you don't implement this, then you've got nobody else to blame but yourself. Is that honest enough, right? If you don't take action on this one thing and implement it for yourself, I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you, right? And no coach can help you. See, the key is to move at the speed of instruction. When, when a coach tells you, hey, this is going to work for you, right? And they truly have your best interest in mind. You, you want to know how you know if your coach has your best interest in mind? Follow the money. Yeah, follow the money. Are you having to pay them six months in advance, a year in advance? Are you having to get on their six-month deal, right? Why not coach somebody and say, hey, if I don't get you the results, why don't you fire my butt? What a novel way of coaching. That's how I ran my IT company. I said, hey, if you have problems, you're going to pay me one flat fee, Mr. Business Owner. And if you have any problems with your computer network, guess what? I'm going to fix it for free. I'll charge you one fee. It's up to me to make it work solid. Okay? And more coaches out there, and if you're one of those coaches... Start coaching people from, from you know, taking risk with your client. Put your money where your mouth is at. You know? Get in, the, get in the boat with your client. I tell all my clients, hey, you know what? You'll never pay me past the first month. Because the way it's set up, you can fire me at any time. And so I better have somebody else, your client, your success paying me, or you're going to fire my butt. Right? And I hate rebuilding client bases. Okay? So let me give you an appointment setting system. Here's what you want to do. Okay, I did a three-hour workshop. I'm going to give this to you for free. After this webinar or any time, you can go to live.johnpyron.com, the same, same URL you did to get to here, and down under the recorded webinars.
Okay, we had it edited. It's about two minutes and two hours and 53 minutes long, two hours and 38 minutes long. But it's not two hours and 38 minutes. It's like half hour talk, half hour implementation, half hour talk, half hour implementation, half hour talk, and half hour implementation. Okay? But if you go there, I'm going to give you a million dollar appointment setting system. I know it's a million bucks because I've created multiple million dollar companies with this appointment setting system. And I'm creating another million dollar company with the same appointment setting system in a whole different industry. And I've got 29 other clients that I coach one-on-one -on -one implementing this exact same system, having the exact same results. So will it work for you? You bet it will. The only factor in this whole mix is you. And I'm going to give it to you on a soul. So go to live.johnpyron.com and do the workshop in there, okay? Not hard. If you need any help with it, reach out to me and I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up with um, uh, several clients of mine or coaches so I can, I can marry you up with the right coach and then they can help you implement that, okay? But basically, the, the ingredients that you're going to learn on that is you're going to learn how to generate 200 qualified leads. We're going to help you set up your CRM database, an email script. YouTube video, LinkedIn profile, online calendar, and, and a consistent schedule for implementation. And if you implement it, you're, it's going to work for you. Okay? Here's one of my clients, a guy named John Ryan. John Ryan's out of Greensboro, North Carolina. John Ryan is a speaker, trainer, coach. John came to me about three and a half months ago, and he said, Hey, I'm in this other person's trainer program, and um, I've been in it for four months. I ha don't have any sales to show for it. Uh, I said, well, what are you doing? He says, well, they're teaching me how to do a front of the room talk, conference call, webinar, um, and, um, you know, but there, there's all the other back, back end stuff that has to be generated in order to make that work. And I've seen what you've done. Can you teach me what you've done? So he hired me as his coach. I applied baseline strategy to John. We added about 25 different items to his baseline. We added this appointment setting system to his baseline, and voila, he started getting appointments webinars, coaching clients, all that stuff, and now he has that skill set for the rest of his life. And that could be you as well. It's your choice. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. That's the thing I like about this country is it's a free country. Okay? So we talked about inner game, outer game. Let's talk about action now. And one of the things about action um, is <coughs> If you look at what it is, what it takes to succeed, and this particular exercise, the what level exercise, has a lot of very near and dear meaning to me on a personal level, and I'll share with you what that is here in a second, but um, if I'm doing a front of the room talk, whenever I'm in, front of, in the front of the room, one of the exercises I will end the talk on is, is the what level exercise. And basically, it goes like this. I would say to the audience, I would say, okay, um, I'm going to say good afternoon to you. And what I want you to do is respond back to me at a level six. Any questions? So just respond back to me, good afternoon, level six. And they, you, you got the instructions? They say yes. And I say, good afternoon, everyone. And they say, good afternoon, John. I said, that is fantastic. You guys are great. In fact, you're the best audience I've had all day. And it always gets a laugh. That's a humor script. Okay? And then I say, okay, well, let's a little bit more energy, a little bit more enthusiasm. Let's play at a level eight. And if you want to smile this time, you got my permission to do so. And again, that's a humor script, and it always gets a laugh. And then I say, good afternoon, everyone. And they go, good afternoon, John. Yeah. And if everybody's feeling pretty good, and I say, okay, let's play full out this time. Let's play at a level 10. Full energy, full enthusiasm. And here's, a, here's this particular chunk. I want you to go back and listen to the recording. Because if you're a public speaker, if you do public speaking, training, or webinar, this one exercise will revolutionize your front of the room talk. Okay? And I, I got to give credit where credit's due. I learned this from my mentor, Eric Laughlin. And it's one of the best exercises I've ever learned for ending a front of the room talk. And so I say, full energy, full enthusiasm, give it everything you've got. In fact, look to the person to your left, look to the person to your right. And uh, their entire future depends on how you act in this. And then, of course, everybody laughs again. And I go, are you ready? Are you ready? What? Good afternoon. And the whole audience goes crazy. And everybody's feeling great. And they all sit down and they're fired up. 
right? And so I calm down and I basically look at the audience and I say this. First we played at a six and then we played at a 10. First a six and then a 10. So here's the question I have for you. Over the last 30 days, as you've been showing up to work or in your business, what level have you been playing at? Let me ask you this question. You're on, you're on this live broadcast. You can see you and I are looking eye to eye right now. Okay? Honestly, it's nobody in your room. We don't have a hidden video camera. You know, we're not, we're not taking video, right? Ask yourself honestly. Over the last 30 days, as you've been showing up to work on a regular basis or your business, what level have you been playing at? And if you've been playing at a high level, great, high five. What I know from experience is most people aren't playing at a high level. Most people are stuck doing something they don't want to do, making somebody else money so they can buy stuff to impress other people they don't even know. That's, 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 that's what most people do. Okay? And one of the things I discovered is that that became me. You know? And what's interesting is on August 24th last year, there, this has two significant meanings for me. This, this exercise, number one, but number two is the month of August. Because in the month of August this time last year, I was that close to being divorced from my best friend. We've been married for 17 years, okay? It wasn't her fault. It wasn't her fault at all. I was a jerk, okay? I was, I'll admit it, okay? And I was being even more of a jerk because of where we were, where we were at in the process. And I show up to this event and these real estate guys are there and there's 35 realtors and I show up and I, I do my you know intro outcomes, chunk one, chunk two, chunk three, and I close on the what level exercise. And I say, hey, you know, over the last 30 days, if you've been showing up to work, uh, you know, what level we've been playing at, and everybody's like, oh, you know, all the people are good, and I'm feeling good because, man, I, mean, I play at a high level. I do. Most of the time, I play at a very high level when it comes to work. And then I ask this question, and I'm going to ask the same question of you. Because most people will play at a high level in one area of their life. Some people in two areas of their life. But very rarely does somebody play at a high level in a lot of areas of every area of their life. We all have room to grow. And so I asked the question in front of the room and I said, hey, over the last 30 days, as you've been showing up in the relationships that are the most important for you, if you're married, your spouse or a significant other, if you have kids with your children, over the last 30 days, you've been showing up in the relationships that are most important to you. What level have you been playing at? Be honest. What level have you been playing at? And so when I asked that question, I, I you know, Cloud's part of, I don't know what happened, but I was immediately convicted. I was just, I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? And so I got transparent with the audience. See, being authentic. One of my speaking coaches is a guy named Mark Kwasney. Okay? And if you ever need a great speaking coach, Mark Kwasney is a really good speaking coach. He says, you know what, John? Be authentic and honest and transparent with your audience. They will resonate more with that than they will with the script. And you know what? He's right. And so it hit me at that point. I'm like, here I am getting ready to destroy the most important relationship I've ever had with my best friend. And I shared with the audience, I said, you know what? I'll be honest. For the last 15 years, I've been showing up playing probably a level 0.5. In fact, over this last year, I've been playing at a minus 0.5. In fact, we're about two weeks away from being divorced. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this event and I'm going to go home because I had not yet moved out. And I'm going to beg her for her forgiveness. I'm going to say, you know what? I've been the jerk, not you. You're a phenomenal mom. You're a phenomenal woman. You know? It's me that hasn't 
stepped up and played at a high level. And man, <laughs> God, she said, yes, I will, I, will, I will allow you back into my life. Still gonna have my heart guarded, but I'm gonna allow you to, to work on it. And I called up Dave Vanny and I said, man, you and I need to talk. And I want you to hold me accountable and every week, and you know what? There are some of you out there right now that might be going through a similar challenge like I just described. You know what, today is the first day of the rest of your life, it really is. You can make a decision right now on this webinar that hey, you know what, from this point forward, I'm gonna play at a high level. No longer am I gonna play around in any area of my life. And you know what, for me, I never had, being a model husband, I never had that modeled for me. And so I had no reference to go from. And a lot of us, right, a lot of us in the Gen X generation, right, people that were born between 1963 and 1981, a lot of us in that generation came from divorced homes because it became a norm during that time. And I'm glad to see that it's coming back, you know. But you know what? You're not alone. And there are people out there that will help you. And Dave Vanny was that guy for me. I got. I said, I will be 100% honest with you. I will be transparent. I'll be accountable. Changed my life. We celebrated 18 years on April 21st last year, this year. Yeah. I mean, I have a better relationship with my, my wife today than I ever had. And I sleep a whole lot better. And so I hope that helps you out. I didn't mean to get all off on a tangent. But some reason, you know, I feel that, that, that there's somebody out there that might be able to relate to that. And I hope it makes a difference for you. And if that resonates with you, send me a private message and say, John, got a lot out of that, man. And uh, I'll send you uh, some books that I went through and, and all that other stuff. So uh, it all comes down to this, right? Either you're the tortoise or the hare. It's as simple as that. Either you're consistent or you're not. I found for me... I was the hare, the rabbit for a long time, and you know what, I could be a rabbit, I could be that rabbit tomorrow. If I got rid of Dave Vanny as my coach, Mike Sashi as my coach, I, I could literally be that hare again because I need, as a business owner, there's nobody else to answer to, right? As a speaker, a public speaker, trainer, coach, there's nobody else to answer to, right? And so have somebody that you can answer to. So in order to play at a higher level, you really got to get yourself to do two things. Number one, expand your comfort zones, right? For me, reaching out to Dave, being transparent to that audience, that was an expansion of my comfort zone. And then finally, number two, take some new action. And one of the new actions that you can take on this webinar, whether you're on the live webinar or you're listening to the recording, is you can join us in a program that we have called the 10X Trainer Group. This is a, this is a, brand new group, okay? And I'm excited about it because we brought together some of the best of the best in the industry, if not the best in the industry, and we're creating a massive trainer company that's never been developed before ever on the planet, okay? And so we're going off the Jim Rohn model, okay? And the Jim Rohn model is simply this. Go and find an audience that you can pour into, that you can deliver something for free. You can give them a talk. You can pour your heart out into them, whether it be a front of the room talk, conference call, or webinar. And then from there, you have the privilege, right? You've earned the right to share something of value. And we want to create a company where, you know, it doesn't matter whose rep product you represent. You know, I was building Legos with my son back in January of this year. And I'm sitting there going, whose product do I want to represent? Whose product do I want to represent? You know, I can't tie my business to one company, okay? I've done that too many times in sales, working for somebody in my own business, and I've discovered, you know what, if you don't own it, it can be taken from you like that. Back in the day, in August of last year, I was this ugly, ugly individual prior to me getting my heart right in that area. And I remember getting a call from Eric Lawfoam, and he said, hey, I don't want to work with you no more. I just said that. It's 10.30 in the morning, you know? And I was like, whoa, you know, what do you mean? And, and he had heard how I had treated my wife. And he just, he just, he was a great coach. He just called me and I said, I don't, 
you're a jerk. We well, didn't say that. I just said, you know what, I don't want to work with you. He wouldn't tell me why. But I knew. I knew. And I'm glad that happened. It changed my life. But it taught me a very valuable lesson in business. I literally created my entire business around representing his brand. And now that got taken away. And I had no business. And I know too many people out there that are representing other people's brands and there's nothing wrong with that. But you want to make sure that you build your business to where it's not dependent upon you and it's not dependent upon someone else. See, when I sold my IT company, I sat down with Kirk, Kirk over at lunch today and he's like, he's like, how the heck did you pull that off, dude? I mean, you were, at the end of the day when you sold the company, you were only working five hours a week. You know, and he was there. He saw. <laughs> you know? And I said, you know what? I surrounded myself with the best team possible and, and I put in systems in place and I did it. And that's what we're going to teach in this program is how to not only go out and do a front of the room talk, conference call, or webinar. I mean, there's all kinds of trainer programs out there that will teach you how to do that. No, no, no. We're going to teach you not only how to do that, but how to actually convert those leads into coaching clients so you can develop a cash flow. We're going to teach you how to actually build a business and all the back-end infrastructure that goes along with that. We're going to give you all the scripts, all the audios, all the videos, everything to be able to be successful. Because this model works. How do I know it works? See if you recognize any of these people. Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Jack Canfield, Brian Tracy. Any of those names ring a bell? They all use this same model and they have become extremely successful. Here's one of the magic things that I've discovered about public speaking. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more repetitions you get in, the better you get. Number two, you ultimately find you in the process. See, I didn't know being a coach was my natural gift and talent. That's not why I signed up in a trainer program with Eric Waffle. That's not why. I wanted to go do it in front of the room, talk, be the big deal, be the center of attention, and, and that's what I wanted to do. And I went out and did 150 reps representing his brand, and I became good, and it was in that process that I discovered I'm actually... I've been coaching people since I was seven years old. Didn't even know I was doing it. You know, it's just something I love to do. And the same thing is going to happen for you. When you get out there and you speak in front of an audience or you do a conference call or a webinar, and you do enough of them, just like Tony Robbins did, just like Ziegler did, just like Canfield did, just like Eric Lawholm did, just like I did, just like... Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of speakers that has followed this model. You're going to find you. And that's the big reward. Because you're going to be able to find something that you love to do. See, what I'm doing right now, this is not work. I get to do this every single day. You get to pour my heart and soul into people every single day. And you can do the same as well. So what's included? What's, what's part of this program? Okay, number one, we do a weekly live mastermind call, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Myself, Jim Padilla, uh, Victor Irvin Jenkins, those are my two business partners. And we're going to bring in high-quality speakers from, our, from everywhere. And so if you're a speaker and you're listening to this call, we're looking for people like you. Just direct message me. But we're going to pay for people to come in and speak it on our mastermind call when it's appropriate. You can be a part of the mastermind call and not even be a part of our program, you can just give it a test drive. And you go there by JP Trainer Mastermind. J is in Juliet, P is in Paul, JP Trainer Mastermind. Ask to join, and as long as you're a speaker, coach, or you want to be, we'll add you to the group. Next is we're going to do a weekly live custom training call on Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Now, all these times are going to be in 7 a.m. Pacific time because... Most of the people I coach are on the East Coast, Central Time, and that sort of thing. On this custom training call, we're going to cover a couple of different topics. Number one, we're going to talk about public speaking mastery. We're going to teach you how to do a front of the room talk, conference call, or webinar, and how to master that. And we're going to provide a real certification along with that, so not some deal where we're going to give you the answers. No, we want certified coaches. And so we're going to have 
some top-notch training in that area. We're going to bring in guest speakers who are studs and studettes in those areas to teach that. That will be one Wednesday. The next Wednesday, we'll cover business ownership mastery because let's face it, you can go out and do a front of the room talk, conference call, webinar, you can build a massive business, but if you don't know how to run the back end of your business, trust me, I've built lots of businesses and it will fall apart and it will fall apart just as fast as you built it and it will be even more painful on the way down than it was going up. Okay, how do I, how do I know this? Been there, done it, man. You know. I, I'd love to say, hey, all three companies I built, man, you know, just went to the moon right away. I made no mistakes, and I'd be lying to you. No, man. <laughs> you know, there were times where, I mean, I made a $75,000 mistake one time, and I'm like, holy cow, that was painful. It's a very painful lesson. So it's stuff like that we're going to talk about on the Business Ownership Mastery course. How do you do finances? What is the difference between cash flow and profit? There is a difference between cash flow and the profit and loss statement. We're going to talk about... You know, accounting, bookkeeping, structures, entities. We're going to bring in specialists and experts in those areas that can be that are that are masters that that are authorized to teach that stuff, because we want you to succeed. And so, one of the calls is going to be that. Next is our buddy Victor Irvin Jenkins is a marketing master man, and he's going to lead up this particular call, and he's going to bring in his own guest speakers. We're going to show you how to take technology show you how to put together a marketing plan. It's going to be one, you know, not only can you go do a front of the room talk, conference call, or webinar, but how do you market yourself? How do you brand yourself? And we're going to attract people to us that are masters in that area. We're going to compensate them for doing those talks for us. Next is leadership. And one of the natural gifts and talents of my business partner, Jim Padilla, is he's a phenomenal leader and coach. And Jim's going to take control of this area and he's going to put together the best leadership training that we could possibly have because I can tell you right now, if you want to build a million dollar business, you're not going to do it by yourself. You're going to have to have employees in place, which is going to require you to become a leader. And too many business owners I know they get to a certain point and they can't go beyond themselves without hiring people and then they hire people and the moment those people become as successful as them, they get threatened and they, and they fire them. They destroy the team that they just built. I know lots of people like that. And it's because John Maxwell talks about the law of the lid in a business. You, your business cannot grow past your own self-esteem. And too many business owners out there have not grown beyond that and gotten the professional training, and that's why. You know, so we're going to provide that. We're going to say, hey, not only can you go out and make the money, not only can you structure it up and set it up to where you can build a business, not only are we going to teach you how to market it, but when you get to the point where you're going to have to hire employees, we're going to teach you how to do that too and how to manage them and how to build an elite team. Why not, right? And there's lots of professionals out there that are going to be able to help us with that. And then finally, coaching. Coaching is the fastest path to cash. If you don't have cash right now, coaching is your fastest path to cash. One of the things I do with all of my clients is I do a baseline with them when they first become a client. I go, what's your cash flow situation? Because I'll give you the number one rule in business. Cash flow is everything. If you don't have cash flow, you're out of business. It's as simple as that. Yeah, you can go borrow money, but why do it? Why start a business on, on having to borrow money when you can go out and coach somebody? You think about what it is that you do right now better than anybody else in the world. There's somebody out there that would like to master that. And you can go and teach them and they'll pay you for it. And we're going to teach exactly how to build a coaching practice, how to get coaching clients, how to coach them properly. And last but not least, every single one of these things listed here, there's going to be certifications tied to them. And if you get certified in our system, you're going to be able to go up on a special wall that here is a certified coach available for hire. Yeah. And you're going to be able to set your own price. And the only thing we're going to want in return is 10%. So if you want to charge 500 bucks a month, knock yourself out. If you want to effectively net 500 bucks, you know, charge, you know, 600 bucks. Whatever you want to do. We're going to make sure that you're solid and that you're recommend and that, and that you're delivering on what it is that you're doing, and you're going to have all the help in the world from the community that's created. 
Next is we're going to do a, on Friday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., we're going to do a weekly live role play in coaching. So myself, Victor, Jim Padilla, and other trainers, if there's any other trainers that love to lead stuff like that, we're going to compensate them for leading it. This is not some trainer program we're going to put together where everybody leads the calls and they don't get any, any part of the money pool, right? No, we're going to reward everybody. Because if you're going to do the work and, and help make the organization better, you're going to get rewarded for it. And so that's the kind of company we want. Expert guest speakers, we talked about that. We're going to have an audio training library. We already have a ton of that stuff. Video training library, ton of that stuff. Scripts, so you know, we're going to teach a whole scripting course. We're going to go out and find the best script teachers on the planet to come in and teach, teach that content. And we're going to have script, as many scripts as you want. And you're going to be able to leverage that. Ability to earn income. Okay, so if you sign up somebody in this trainer program, their very first month's fee, you're going to get 25%. And I'll get into what those fees are here in a second. If they renew and they pay their monthly fee, because remember what I said about coaching, you should be able to fire your coach at any time if they're not getting you results. This is going to be one of those trainer programs where I'm not going to lock you into a 12-month agreement, 3-year agreement, 10-year agreement, 25 years down the road you're still in an agreement. No. It'll be month to month. If we don't deliver, fire our butts. And so that's our incentive to make sure that we're bringing it every week. We're going to put our money where our mouth is at. Certified coaches and trainers. You're going to be able to become a certified coach and trainer in our environment. We already have several coaches and trainers. And so I'm a big fan of coaching. If you're not coaching with somebody, again, go out and get a coach. Okay? If you join this organization, there's plenty of coaches that you can, you can hire right away if you want to, and you can coach with them. Because I know for a fact how to set up an appointment, how to run a webinar, conference call for another room talk, how to close it, how to convert them into coaching clients, how to make money, and how to build a business. I've done every single aspect of it, and you know what? I don't hold anything back. And that's exactly what's going I'm excited because if you really want to succeed in this area, you're going to be able to do that. Now, here's the pricing. It's very simple. 1000 bucks down. 500 bucks a month. Okay, the 1000 bucks includes your first monthly fee, and the other 500 is going to include one-on-one -on -one coaching for the first month. And it's going to include getting your systems, your personal systems, set up and customized for you. Because... You may be representing Eric Lawholm. You may be representing Grant Cardone. You may be representing Tom Ferry. You may be representing Brian Tracy, John Maxwell. You may be, it doesn't matter whose who's program you're representing. We're going to help you customize it to where you succeed at it. And if you don't, the first 30 days, we're going to guarantee it. Okay, before, let me go to the guarantee slide. We're going to guarantee it. If we don't deliver, we'll give you a refund. We'll put it in writing. Because it doesn't get any simpler than that. Now, there's a couple of bonuses if you sign up today. Number one is we're going to give you a customized appointment setting system. Okay? So that appointment setting system video that I the workshop, not only are you going to you, you already got that, but we're going to work with you for 30 days and make sure yours is customized for you for your business, for what you're wanting to do with your scripts, with your videos, with your schedule. Okay? I usually charge 2500 bucks for that. Should be charging a whole lot more, but I think that's fair. And then implementation coaching sessions. So once it's customized and it's ready to go, we're going to coach you through the implementation process of that system. Okay? We're going to guarantee it. Don't like the program, don't get the value out of it, give you a full refund within 30 days, and you get to keep the appointment setting system. That's already customized. So there ain't no risk involved here. Register in the next 30 minutes. Now check this out. Register in the next 30 minutes. You're going to get one month of one-on-one -on -one coaching from either Jim Padilla, Victor Irving Jenkins, or any of our other wonderful coaches. Okay, I've got room for one more coaching client, and I'm reserving that spot right now because that person at lunch today asked me to. And so, um, how do you register? Well, it's very simple. Somebody invited you to the webinar. Get back in touch with them. Talk to them about what it is that you want to do. And then they'll coordinate it with me or Victor or Jim, and we'll get you signed up and we'll get you going.
okay? We want you to succeed. If you got to this webinar by being on a, a post that I did, right? Just simply uh, uh, go to my website, book an appointment with me, and uh, book, an, book a 30-minute coaching session, and I'll be more than happy to talk with you. Make sure that this is a fit for you, because it's got to be a fit, you know? Or I'll have somebody else talk with you, and we'll get you rolling, okay? Final thoughts. It's very simple. If you're a public speaker, trainer, or a coach, whether you sign up today or not, you're going to pay you the way. You're going to pay you the way. The investment today is 1000 bucks. 500 bucks a month, you can cancel at any time. No long-term contract. Ten years from now, the price might be you know, $5,000 to get involved and 2000 bucks a month. As the program grows and we get in speakers, this is going to last for 50, 55, 60 years, way beyond my death. Okay? And we're going to have the best of the best of the best participate. So the investments today are 1000 bucks. There's also a cost for not signing up. And the cost for that is you can continue to get the results you've been getting from whatever trainer program you're involved in. And you may not like that. And so the choice is yours at this point. If you come on board, I'll welcome you on board. If not, you guys have been a wonderful, wonderful audience. I hope you got a lot out of today. And reach out, go get a coach. That's the most important thing. I'll leave up my uh, information a little bit. Go ahead and reach out to me. If you want to connect with anybody on my team, just let me know. And I look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.